First, one of the first options with this lovely Pashmere Drake's scarf is the most classic, which is the scarf itself is folded into two, and the looped end goes on one side, and you simply pass it through. And that is probably the most simple method there is, and you can close your jacket over it like that. Very simple, no hassle, easy. A second way you can do it is with a similar scarf, the same scarf in this case. If you start with one end quite short, and you have that, you bring that in here, sort of sitting anywhere on your chest, and the longer end you wrap around all the way, so it's sort of nicely snuggling around your neck, and you just stick the other end there and close up your jacket again. It's not so tight around your neck, it's just sort of a little bit more flare with this one and still keeping your neck nice and warm. A third option, simple again and very classic, is simply to just take the scarf and place it around your neck and cross it over on your chest and close up your jacket. And usually with your jacket it's going to stay in place and um, crossing it on your chest is adding a little bit extra layer of warmth on your chest there to stop any sort of wind or cold air going through there. If you just have it hanging down it sort of moves around. I like to personally tuck it in when I can but you can also in other, some of the other forms wear it out of the jacket. This one is maybe a little bit more complex but very akin to something you're probably used to doing every single day which is tying a tie. So I like to have a longer end and a shorter end again. And I pass it over and around as though I was doing a tie, and then I just go through there. And this one is a little bit more playful. It sort of has a little bit more of a long flare to it. It doesn't really sit against your neck. It's keeping the back side of your neck warm as opposed to the front opening there. If you're wearing a tie, you could still nicely frame the knot of your tie with the knot of your scarf. And you can either tuck it in or you can leave it out. We're going to go with a larger, thicker scarf, something more like this. Nice checked scarf here, a little bit more warmth and a little bit more bulk with it as well. What we may want to do, another option, is again starting with a shorter end. Like this. You wrap it around. And then you can tied in the front like that. So you're getting a little bit more security from the scarf being tied, you're getting a little bit more flare and sort of volume from the top part there, and you can still hold it in with your jacket. One way that I'm not a very big fan of is perhaps if you have a longer scarf or with this one when people just throw it over themselves like this. It's sort of, to me this is a bit more of a sort of a children's way of doing it and a little bit more feminine whereas the other ways are a little bit more masculine. People also just do this which is the same sort of thing. It's not really doing anything. It's almost like you're wearing a shawl which is probably something